In this video, we will look at the parts of a circle. We will cover radius and diameter, circumference, area, secants and chords, tangents, arcs, sectors and segments. A circle is a flat shape with no straight edges. The centre is the point right in the middle of the circle. A radius is a line drawn from the centre of the circle to the edge. We can draw a radius in any direction and it will always have the same length. A diameter is a line drawn from one side of a circle to the other, passing through the centre. Again, it will always have the same length no matter which direction we draw it. A diameter is formed from two radii pointing in opposite directions. This means that the diameter is always twice the length of the radius. The circumference is the distance all the way around the edge of the circle. It is another name for the perimeter of the circle. The circumference is given by 2 pi r. r is the radius of the circle, and pi is a constant with a value of approximately 3.141. Since the diameter of a circle is twice the radius, the circumference is equal to pi d, where d is the diameter. The area of a circle is pi r squared. A secant is any line that passes through the circle. A secant crosses the circumference in two places. A chord is a line that joins any two points on the circle. This means that a chord is the part of the secant that lies inside the circle. A tangent is a line that just touches the edge of the circle without crossing it. An arc is part of the circumference of a circle. Arcs can have different lengths. The length of an arc is determined by the angle it makes at the centre of the circle. An arc can have any angle, and it can be larger than 180 degrees. A sector is a part of the circle that is enclosed by an arc and two radii. A sector is shaped like a slice of a pie, like an arc, the size of a sector is determined by the angle it makes at the centre. If the angle is exactly 90 degrees, the sector occupies a quarter of the circle. This type of sector is called a quadrant. If the angle is exactly 180 degrees, the sector occupies half the circle. This type of sector is called a semicircle. It is also possible for a sector to be larger than 180 degrees. When we draw a sector, we are actually dividing the circle into two parts. Both parts are sectors. One will have an angle of less than 180 degrees, and we call this the minor sector. The other will have an angle of greater than 180 degrees, and we call this the major sector. A segment is part of the circle that is cut off by a chord. As with a sector, the segment is defined by the angle at the centre, but this time it is the angle that the chord makes at the centre. The chord divides the circle into two parts. Both parts are segments. Again, we call the smaller segment the minor segment, and the larger one the major segment. The centre of the circle is always in the major segment. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can find more resources at graphicmaths.com, the link is in the description below.